everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 78. Today we'll be stitching with my four in one machine quilting ruler. Notice here, I do have a little bit of the Westerly stable tape on my ruler. I don't have this on my ruler all the time, but if you are starting out or quilting on a domestic machine, I highly recommend this stable tape. It's really helpful in keeping your rulers nice and still. Now, if you're just joining me, make sure you do check out the description below. There we've got links to the introduction video and lots of other important information about this stitch along. Let's get stitching. I'll begin by using my four in one machine quilting ruler. I'm going to line the ruler up so that the second marked line, that's the three quarters inch line on the ruler, is lined up right on top of the bottom of my triangle block. I'll stitch my first line parallel to the bottom of the block that's three quarters of an inch from there. When I get to the right side of the block, I'm going to stitch along the ditch moving up three quarters of an inch. You'll notice here that I have not done any marking. I'm just using the measurements on my machine quilting ruler to adjust my spacing. Obviously, you could totally go through and mark out all the three quarters of an inch increments. When I get to the right side of the block, I'll adjust and I'm going to repeat that same process stitching back and forth every three quarters of an inch. After I've moved all the way to the top of the block, then I'm going to travel to and repeat this same process, stitching lines coming off of the left hand side of the block. So three quarters of an inch, adjust along the ditch and stitch the next three quarters of an inch spacing. I'll repeat that process until I've completed those lines going that direction all the way across the block. Now to finish off this design, I'm going to repeat that process again, coming from the right side of the block. So moving over three quarters of an inch and stitching lines every three quarters of an inch. I'll finish off that design by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. I hope you enjoyed today's block and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow.